Look where we are. We are at Crumble Cookies and Kevin is inside ordering our cookies right now. This week at Crumble Cookie, we are going to be trying the ultimate peanut butter, the Galaxy Brownie, the Vanilla Crumb Cake featuring Golden Oreo, and then Tres Leches. And it has a little uh, cup here of Tres Leches sauce. We're in the car. <laughs> 99% of you, literally 99% of you, prefer we do these. You can go ahead and start cutting that. Prefer we do these at home. And guess I'd what? Prefer to do them at home too. We prefer to do them at home too. But we have no heat. <laughs> so last week I told you that well, you probably wouldn't see the crumble video anyway until today. So it was planned that we wouldn't <coughs> get this video out to you until Tuesday anyway. And it ended up being a good thing because we got hit with uh, some snow, but mainly just really, really brutal cold weather. And then the heat went out in the house. So the heat is still out in our house. It's currently, I think, 45 degrees. 48, I think at 47. It's like too that. cold in the kitchen to, sit. To, to do this review. So we can't. So we're doing it in the car this week. So the first one we're going to be trying, and I wanted to do this one first because we've tried this one before. It's the Cosmic, uh, or sorry, Galaxy Brownie. I want to call it Cosmic Brownie. You all know why. A brownie cookie covered in a fudge glaze and sprinkled with rainbow candy bits. Okay. So Kevin cut it just like he did at home, but... <laughs> And here it, it usually falls in the floor. Mm. That's really nice. That's nice chocolate. Mm -hmm. Very um, soft, very, mm -hmm. very soft. It's a good texture cookie. It's, it's not a super sweet cookie though, so it's probably going to be the lesser sweet cookie this week. But um, it might be. Um, it um, it's not chewy. Mm -hmm. it, no, it's soft. It, it has a really nice soft texture. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's not a brownie texture. At all. It tastes like brownie, mm -hmm. but it it the texture to me is more like cake. Cake. It's like cake, a chocolate cake. cake. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. But it, it is nice. I mean, and if you like that darker. Um, darker cookie gonna you're gonna like plate. that I don't want the chocolate got everywhere for that one. Oh yeah I'll give you another plate I brought paper plates <laughs> with me I want I'm wanting to save the peanut butter one for last but it's warm yeah so should I try it now um maybe it's good yeah we will you know it and it, wow it's huge what look there's something on that hold on I'm sure it came from my coat um the, uh, the, the the peanut butter cookie is a really warm cookie, and so if I wait to try it till last, then it it's might it, it, it might not have the same experience. Um, the cosmic brownie felt a little warm. It, was a little it wasn't warm. hot, but it, it did feel a little warm. Um, this of course, if I took brought them home, they would have been cooled off anyway. So this ultimate peanut butter is a peanut butter cookie with peanut butter stuffing and peanut butter drizzle. It sounds like it has my name written all over it now. I don't know that I would have gotten the stuffing. I was going to say, it doesn't look like it's stuffed with peanut butter. The only thing I do is cut it again. Cut it again. Do you see any? I don't any? see stuffing. I mean, it might have a thin line. It has a very thin layer, it looks like, of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. It's not stuffed. Like, yeah. you when know, I consider stuffed, I'm expecting like a big nugget of Well, I've butter. seen cookies on Instagram. They're shaped different, though. They're shaped more like rounded, like a ball. Yeah, they're But dumb. those are stuffed. Right. And they have like a thick layer of actual stuffing in them. This is just a little layer of peanut butter. Yeah. It's not what I would call stuffed. And the peanut butter on the top is kind of... Uh, yeah, I mean, you can see it just looks like a... Soft and sticky.
It's a good peanut butter flavor, though. Mm hmm. I like it. Um, it's not my favorite peanut butter cookie. No, but it is good. It's got a good flavor to it. The texture's good. You do taste the peanut butter. Uh, I think for me, is what's making it not my favorite peanut butter cookie is the sweetness level. There's not, it yeah. is sweet, but like, um, like a lot of those, um, a lot of those that you get that are just the classic peanut butter cookies have like sugar on top. Mm. There's, a, there's a layer of sugar. Or salt. And that sugar really adds sweetness to it. It really goes well with that peanut butter. That's what I'm missing this time. Yeah. And so I do like the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I like the texture. It's, it's good. It's just not very sweet. I agree. It's not very sweet. It, it, and I wish it had a little touch of salt to it. It like, wouldn't be one I would get again. I hate to say that. I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. Like if you've never tried it, I think you should get it and try it. Because, yeah, it's because good. it is, there's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. But I personally would not choose it again. Right. Okay. So. Um, Give me the, the vanilla crumb because that's got a sauce I'm going to have to deal with. No, I've got enough room on this plate. Oh, you want it on the same plate? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so we're doing the Oreo. That's a heavy cookie. That's, heavy is thick I mean, cookie. wow. Hello. Um, that's the only one this week that they did while I was waiting. They like put the, some stuff the, on the, it. The frosting and the crumble. You know how sometimes when they'll put like when it'll be like featuring something, right? they'll put a little piece of that. I expected, you know, they make mini golden oreo cookies yeah that i thought it. it would have had a one mini golden oreo i'm surprised it didn't mm -hmm. um it's got a crumble on top of the oreo but... so this is uh vanilla crumb cake featuring golden oreo a cookie with white chocolate chips yum golden oreo cookie pieces yum and topped with a swirl of vanilla cream cheese <laughs> Frosting and crumbly golden Oreo pieces. You know, if you watch any of these, that's my one of my favorite frosting. So yes, this sounds incredible. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, they had me at cream cheese frosting. Um, that's really early up. But you taste mostly the cream cheese frosting. <laughs> okay. Um, it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. For me, I did not taste any golden Oreo at all. Oh, no. Like, you would have never known because the cream cheese is, it's really strong cream cheese. Mm -hmm. I personally like it. I think it's good. But you better like cream cheese mm -hmm. because that is what you taste. Um, you don't taste... I don't taste any golden Oreo whatsoever. Yeah, neither. I mean, really... they could have not put it on there at all, and I wouldn't have known it. I mean, it's a it's a vanilla cookie. You can mm -hmm. tell it's a vanilla cookie, but it doesn't taste like golden Oreo. Golden Oreo is one of our very very favorite Oreos, um, so we do love them very much. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good cookie, though. It's a good cookie, and, and like I said, anything with cream cheese frosting, it's automatically good to me. But um, but that's mostly what you taste. It it's said, a good cookie, though. Uh, uh, it had white chips. I didn't get the white chips no, either. No, I didn't either. Because it was either last week or the week before. Something had white chips. You could really get the texture. And you really out. got the white chips. This one, you didn't get the white mm -hmm. chips either. It's really just, um, it came across as just like a, a regular cookie with that cream cheese mm -hmm. on top. It's a thicker sugar cookie, basically. It was really nice, Yeah, though. I like the texture and everything of it. Okay, so this one needs a plate of its own. Yeah, because it's got a sauce. Okay, and it, it's like square. Okay. I don't want it to dip down. Okay, do you want to try it like with the do sauce or without the sauce? the sauce? Or, I mean, how do you want to do it? I don't know, we could dip it in the sauce. I think we should dip it in the sauce. Yeah. Because the last one Because they had, left a little well in the middle where you could pour the sauce in the center, but, but we can just dip it. I think we should dip it because the time that we had that, um, uh, the maple yes maple syrup yep, yep, yep. we found <laughs> that we've cake. done it both ways one time we poured the maple syrup and then another time we dipped it into the maple syrup it's a much better experience when you dip it for us at least yeah it worked it just works better okay this is a very very dense cookie i mean it's 
it is it's, really it's kind of like I have to really push to get it. Yeah, to cut it's through. really it. Um, I agree with that yeah, one. it's very good. That okay, cream, I think it's just whipped cream with cinnamon on top. That's what it feels like. Okay, this is the Trace Leches, topped with whipped cream, fresh strawberry, which you only get one little it slice. It has one strawberry. It has one little slice. I don't want any of that anyway. Um, and a, I mean, fruit. Um, and a pinch of cinnamon sugar. It is served with a side of Trace Leches sauce. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. It definitely has a different texture. It's almost, um... Almost pound cake like. It's very dense, mm -hmm. uh, very close um, texture. Um, I, t I get the whipped cream. Whipped cream is not my favorite on a cookie or cake because it's it's not as sweet and it's not as thick and and creamy and. But I do like the cinnamon flavor. Mm -hmm. It's okay by itself. It's better with the dip. Okay. I got a lot of dip. <laughs> Um, I would rather dip it than pour it on the cookie because if you pour it, you got to deal with all this stuff running all over the place. Um, dipping it just makes it easier to eat. It's like almost a um, sweet and condensed milk kind of flavor. It's very, it's kind of a a thick, sweet cream. There's a lot of cinnamon in here too. There's some cinnamon there too. Yeah, if you dip it with, if you dip the sauce or if you pour the sauce over top of it, whatever way you want to eat it. If you're at home. At least it seems like there's cinnamon in there. It does. Stick your finger in it. Um, if you're at home, or sip it. <laughs> sip the sauce. Uh, anyway, if you're at home and you put it on a plate, then you could pour it over top and eat it with like a fork. I think that would be nice. Is it good? That should be illegal to drink that. Oh my God. <laughs> it's sweet. <laughs> it's awesome. I don't want to drink it. You don't want no. to? Um, I got enough of the flavor with, with the... Forget the stuff. cookie. I could just drink the, uh, the strawberry is good and cold. I could literally just like down that right now. That is so good. That that's where your sweetness is. Mm -hmm. The cookie itself is kind of it's good. It's just kind of plain. The cookie itself is there, there's it's not bad, but it's it's really 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 dense. It's it's not my favorite kind of cookie because I like that ooey gooey. It's definitely not like that. Mm -hmm. It's very very dense, and the big cookie though it has that whipped cream on it, which is not giving it. Much it might give it a little sweetness. I don't think so. Um, but you it, do get it, the cinnamon from it. Though. You do get the cinnamon from it. Your all your sweetness is coming from this little cup here. Mm. And I wish they had filled it up completely. I'm sure there's a certain measurement so they know the calories and all that. But yeah, they had those cups already made up. Uh, there's that, a whole tub of them. That's where all your goodness is going to come. Yeah, it's really so good. So I. I wouldn't pour it. I still wouldn't pour it over. I would if I was at home. I'd pour it right in the middle of that little, they give you a little walled garden in there with the whipped cream. I'd mm -hmm. pour it right in the middle, let it go out, and then cut it with a fork. Well, and to look at it, it looks like one of those pup cakes. Yeah, it looks like it would go inside. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, so yeah. they've they've literally, it's poked like a poke on. cake, and they've poked holes all through it. So that when you put this sauce there, that sauce is going to go down, down in those yeah, holes. And sink in. That is definitely what it's for. But yeah, that's what I would do. But if you're eating in the car, there's no way. Well, I'm thinking for me to make sure that you get some of that in every bite. I think you would. I I've just um, I don't know. I, I like dunking it a whole lot. Uh, it, it. it was immaculate in there today. It was very clean, oh, that's organized. Awesome. Yeah. They had all their spatulas hung up to where they they were. You know, because usually they just lay them on the counter when they're because yeah. they're getting cookies out all the time. Well, that's great to hear. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was really nice. Well, you were in I and out. They just didn't show me the cookies though. They, they never have. They've never done that. No. Um, uh, the strawberry, by the way, I did eat the strawberry. It's very fresh, um, ripe strawberry. It's really good. Well, if you were gonna tell, if somebody wanted to know the least sweet, <sighs> it's between the vanilla. Well, no, no, no. That that's wrong. It's between the peanut butter and the galaxy brownie. I would. I'm going to say probably the peanut butter is the least sweet one. The peanut butter, it, I know that's shocking to you all. And and you know I love peanut butter. But this just, it, it wasn't very, uh, without, you, it's hard to imagine how much just putting sugar on top adds to the sweetness yeah. of it. But it does. Yeah, It was good. Um, it had a good peanut butter flavor. It just wasn't very sweet. Right. Um, then the Galaxy Brain would be the next. The Which was the two I probably wouldn't get again. Um, Me personally. 
If okay, so which is the sweetest? The vanilla crumb for me was the sweetest, just because it had that um, the cream cheese frosting on it. The cream However, cheese frosting. if you put that sauce on top of the tres leches, um, then it's going to be probably it's going to be the really sweetest. really sweet. Yeah. Um, if you could steal a cup of this, <laughs> you, just could, to, you might be just able to, to ask. Drink it. You might be able to ask for another I don't think so. cup. I doubt it. But I don't you think never know. Do it. Um, they're very exact on what they, you know, so I don't think they would no, do they're that. They're charging you for just what you get. For what so. you get. Yeah, you, yeah. Um, I think uh, my favorite this week, what, the one that I would get again. The, I'm going to say the vanilla crumb cake featuring golden Oreo. Yeah. Even though I did not taste Oreo. My, it would be purely for the cream it's cheese It's for frosting. the cream cheese frosting. That's why I'm buying it this yeah. week. Um, I agree. You agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's the one of the week. And of course they still have their chocolate chip and their pink sugar. And their pink sugar. Um so those are available too if you like those. Um but yeah, the Tres Leche or Tres Leches is the new one this week. And uh so I, I definitely think it's worth trying. Oh yeah, it's definitely good. And and if you can um if you can get a place where you can actually sit and pour it and let it sink in those holes. It might even soften the, the cookie up a little bit. Um, but And then eat it with like a fork. Or you could pick it up and eat it. Because when you make one of those cakes at home, I've never made one, but when you make one of those cakes at home, it genu it looks like a poke cake. And poke cakes, you're supposed to let them sit there, I'm thinking, for a few hours before you let eat them. them so that it will sink in. So I'd say the idea with the cookie is, yes, that you're right. You're probably right that you would let it sit there, but nobody does that with crumble because you want to eat it right, right then. You know, you want well, it to Well, that be... cookie is so dense, I don't know that it would really soak in really I fast. I know, it's it is a really very slow. dense cookie. You'll see, well, I'm gonna still have pictures at the end of the video like I always do, and you'll see how dense it is. Even though it, it, there's holes there, I think the, the frosting would, would, the sauce would literally go down in those holes, but I don't think it would spread yeah, out because it's too dense to spread yeah, out yeah. Uh, but I, I, I hope you enjoyed the video and leave comments below if you've already tried these since this video is coming out of daylight if you've already tried them let us know which was your favorite and thanks for watching